Hi, welcome to Skills on Sunday for July 5th, 2020. I'm your host, DM Galapond. Hey, today is July 5th, 2020, and on Skills on Sunday for today, we're going to look at the survival skill, uh, what it does now in 5th edition, where it came from, and all that other sort of good stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into that, shall we? All right, uh, so the survival skill in 5th edition is tied to your wisdom score. Um, and you make survival checks to follow tracks, hunt wild game, guide your group through ro frozen wastelands, identify signs that certain creatures live nearby, predict weather, uh, or avoid quicksand or other natural hazards. So um, it really is a very general skill about survival outdoors. Now, the one thing seems to preclude in 5e is it precludes any kind of um, urban environments. Uh, now there used to be there used to be a uh, a skill called streetwise in other editions of the game. Uh, we don't have the streetwise skill anymore, um, but streetwise used to be something that you would use essentially like the survival skill, uh, but in an urban environment. So um, I think my inclination as a DM is to, if somebody is trying to, if you're trying to read a specific person, or a situation involving people, then you use an insight check. Um, if you're trying to find your way around the city and figure out how to get from here to somewhere else, um, and you have a background from uh, being a city slicker uh, or having been raised in cities, then I think survival works for that for that uh, standpoint, because that's kind of about the the closest thing that you have in 5th edition for that. Um, now let's go and take a look at how survival has been depicted in previous editions and see if my inclination um, is supported by how this skill has worked in the past. Alright, survival was a skill all the way back in the uh, original D&D original rules, but it was tied to your intelligence as opposed to tied to your um, tied to your wisdom. And also you had to choose a terrain. Now they um, they give you several terrains to choose from. Uh, allows the character easily find food, especially vegetables and fruits, shelter and water in a single type of terrain. Selected from one of the following. Desert, forest, or jungle, mountains or hills, open seas, plains, arctic, deserts, uh, and plains or arctic. And it says that uh, desert survival doesn't give the character the ability to survive in the forest. He must also take forest survival for that. Um, so you can forage automatically in fertile areas, um, even when on the move. And when the character is trying to supply more than just themselves, uh, they must make a skill check at plus one penalty to the die roll for each additional person and trying to supply. Um, must roll each day. Failure indicates they've not found enough food for everyone is trying to uh, that they're trying to supply. So uh, that is the survival check. It's basically like uh, living off the land is survival in the original uh, edition. Now, in first edition or AD&D, they didn't have any system for skills or feats or proficiencies or anything like that. In second edition, they did bring proficiencies back in, and survival was one of those proficiencies. Um, 
and this must be applied to specific environment, specific type of rain, terrain and weather factors, including Arctic, woodland, desert, steppe, mountain, or tropical. And the character's basic survival knowledge for that terrain type. Additional proficiency slots can be used to add more types of terrain. Um, so basic types, you know, understand the basic types of hazards they might face, understands the effects of the weather, and knows proper steps to lessen the risk of exposure. Know the methods to locate or gather drinkable water. Knows how to find basic, not necessarily appetizing food, and where none is apparent, thus staving off starvation. Um, and a character with survival can instruct and aid others in the same situation. Uh, when using the proficiency to find food or water, character must roll a proficiency check if the proficiency has failed. No more attempts can be made for that day. Um, and then, um, you know, it's a warning here for DMs and players alike that survival skill doesn't release player characters from the hardships and horrors of being lost in the wilderness. Um, it may alleviate a small portion of the suffering of food is barely adequate water um water is discovered in small amounts still quite possible for a character with survival knowledge to die in a wilderness um and you know so it's kind of giving warnings to players and uh kind of license to dms that you can really mess with players if they get uh if they get too happy with their own knowledge of survival all right now in third edition survival has made the switch from being an intelligence based um, score to a wisdom based score uh, and survival you can follow tracks hunt wild game guide a party safely through groves and wasteland identify signs hey guess what Listen to that description. Almost exactly the same description from 5th edition. Um, but of course, like everything in 3rd uh, edition, it gives a lot more detail. Keep yourself and others safe and fed in the wild. Uh, DCs for various tasks require survival checks. Survival does not allow uh, you to follow difficult tracks unless you're a ranger or have the track feet. Um, because of course they want to uh, make everything very, um, you know, have a have a skill or a feat or a, uh, a s statistic for everything in th third edition. So to get along in the wilds is DC 10. Move up to one half your overland speed while hunting and foraging for food. Um, provide food and water for. Uh, one other person for every two points by which your res check result exceeds 10. So if you get a 12, then you can provide food and water for yourself and someone else. Gain a plus two bonus for DC 15. Gain a plus two bonus for all fortitude saves against severe weather while moving up to half your overland speed or a plus four bonus if you remain stationary. Um... And then keep from getting lost or avoid natural hazards is DC 15 uh, and hazards such as quicksand. Another DC 15, predict the weather of 24 hours in advance. For every five points by which your survival check results exceed 15, you can predict the weather for up to one additional day in advance. So if you get a 20 on your survival check, then you can predict the weather for um, two days in advance. All right, um, single survival check can represent an activity over the course of uh, several hours or a full day. And then um, trying again varies for getting along in the wild or gaining fortitude. Uh, you make a survival check only once every 24 hours. But um, in other cases, you may need to make a survival check every time it's called for. Um, while anyone can use survival to find tracks, or follow tracks, DC for the task 10 is 10 or lower. Only a ranger uh, can use survival to follow tracks when the task has a higher DC. Uh, five or more ranks in survival, you can automatically determine where true north lies in relation to yourself. So you become a humanoid compass. Um, 
synergy. If you have five or more ranks in survival, you get a plus two bonus on knowledge nature. And if you have a plus two bonus on survival checks while underground, uh, you have five or more ranks in knowledge nature, you get a plus two bonus on survival checks and above ground. Uh, if you have five or more ranks in knowledge geography, you get a plus two bonus to survival checks made to keep from getting lost or to avoid natural hazards. You have five or more ranks in knowledge of the plains, you get a plus two survival uh, bonus on survival checks made while on those other planes. Uh, if you have five or more ranks in search, you get a plus two bonus survival checks to find or follow tracks. So, yeah. Uh, and then finally, nature wisdom. Uh, this is 4th edition. There was not a survival feat in 4th edition. Uh, I thought it interesting that in 3rd edition, the nature skill uh, was an intelligence-based thing, um, and survival was wisdom. But when we got to 4th edition, there was no longer a survival, but nature had become a wisdom. So, and you'll see here, it, it does a whole lot of, uh, of the same thing. So uh, foraging for food, for instance, um, and then handling animals and knowledge of nature uh, and uh, knowledge of natural monsters. So uh, you can use it, you could use it in fourth edition for quite a few different things uh, that overlap with the uh, survival skill from some of the other editions of the game all right well that is about going to do it now if we go back to our go back to our original question um would survival be the right skill to have somebody use if they're trying to navigate in a in a strange city well let's take a look at that um it doesn't seem like that's entirely uh, supported by what they have. So let's just take a look and see, like, um, nature. See what the... No. Nature check measures your ability to recall lore about terrain, plants, and animals, weather, and natural cycles. So there's really not a there's really not like a streetwise or a um, navigation within cities uh, type of skill is there. Uh, you just kind of I guess SOL if you're if you're trying to find your way around a strange city. I don't know. I still like survival as that. All right. What do you think? Fifth edition game. If, you're, if your characters find themselves in a strange city, what's the kind of role that you think would be appropriate for that? Would that be a survival check? Would they use survival to see if they could figure their way around? Or would they do something else? Let me know. Put that in the comments below. Also, while you're doing that, please, if you like the content that we're dropping here on this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button over there uh, to your right and click the little uh, notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time we put a new video up on the channel. Uh, I am DM Galabond. You'll find out all the ways that you can follow me on social media in the description of this video uh, we hope we will see you back here next sunday for um, uh, skills on sunday uh, also keep in mind that over on my twitch channel which you can find out in the information down below uh, i do two uh, two live streams every week of video games that i run so or of uh, D, D games that i run all right Thank you very much. We'll talk to you later. Peace out.